Women of various nationalities visit this restaurant. They are public servants who have been invited to Korea by the Korean government. Diverse dishes made of tofu have been prepared for the foreign guests, who are accustomed to their home country's foods. The women show interest in the dish called jonggol. It's made of tofu, beef, and all kinds of vegetables. The dish also contains spicy pepper powder. What do the guests think about its taste? No, it's very delightful. The taste is soft, yeah. uh, the texture is very good, and it's very beautiful, the well, colors. No, no, I mean, it was hot at the very beginning, but then it, when it cools down a little bit, it's excellent. Yes. Tofu is made of boiled beans. Softly boiled beans are ground to make bean water, which is boiled and mixed with salty water to help condense the bean protein. This is called sundubu, or soft tofu. When it's drained, it becomes tofu. Unlike people in other Asian countries, Koreans enjoy dishes made of soft tofu. Sundubu jjigae, or soft tofu stew, is made of various ingredients. The dish is known as a healthy food because the bean protein it contains is easily absorbed by the body. The dish has been introduced in many countries. Beans, which are known for their health benefits, are better absorbed by the body when fermented or cooked rather than when eaten raw. Korean cuisine has diverse kinds of bean pastes and tofu. That's because Korean ancestors used beans as a source of protein, which was scarce in the rice-oriented Korean diet. Moreover, they came up with fermentation as the best way to maximize the body's absorption of bean nutrients. For a long time, Buddhism has provided Koreans with spiritual guidance. Buddhist monks eat only vegetarian food because it doesn't interfere with their ascetic practices. On a fine autumn day, a monk cooks something in the temple yard. He makes dishes that can supplement the nutritious value of the monk's vegetarian diet. The monk soaks glutinous rice in water for a long time, grinds it into powder, and boils it in water to make rice starch. Then he evenly spreads the starch on every ingredient and even makes patterns on wide lave sheets. He then leaves the ingredients to dry in the sunshine. When they're dry, he deep fries them. This is called bugak, or fried kelp. It's a special snack for monks. Like all other dishes in Buddhist temples, bugak is made of in-season fruits and vegetables. It takes much time and effort to make bugak, but the monks say it's part of asceticism.
Temple food has recently enjoyed increased popularity for its ability to help the body and mind relax. In line with the Buddhist belief that prohibits the destruction of life, temple food is made only from vegetables. Spicy seasoning is avoided to preserve the natural flavor of the ingredients. 우리가 일반적으로 음식을 먹는다는 생명을 밖에 해서 먹고 건강을 위해서 우리가 채식과 자연식을 하는데요. 사찰 음식은 채식인 동시에 뭔가 마음을 맑게 해 줍니다. 그래서 돌을 통해 해 줘야 되거든요. 그래서 어, 특히 유럽에 계신 분들은 정신 문화에 대해서 굉장히 관심이 많아요. 그래서 그 정신 문화를 완성시켜 주는 음식이 바로 선식이거든요. Temple food cultivates the mind and helps keep disease at bay. Temple food restaurants are always packed with foreigners who come to sample Buddhist culture through food. They're especially popular among vegetarians. Um, the food here is very, I think one of the biggest differences is that it's very diverse. There are many different kinds of vegetables, like I think there are 50 or 60 different kinds of things and it changes depending on the season, so it's always interesting and exciting and it all tastes different um, and also it feels very, very delicious and healthy and nutritious. Um, so every time I eat here, immediately after the meal, I feel satisfied and I feel like I have another extra 10 years of my lifespan. So that's awesome. Japan is one of Korea's closest neighbors. Since Korean TV dramas showing Korean cuisine began being shown in Japan, many Japanese people have been frequenting Korean restaurants. This food section of a department store in Tokyo is crowded with homemakers in the afternoon. The department store is known for its strict requirements. Its food section features Korean food as well. It's no longer a surprise that kimchi is a popular product in Japan. There's another reason this place is so special. It was the first in Japan to sell Korean side dishes. Korean side dishes match perfectly with steamed rice. They also supplement the nutritious value of every meal. The popularity of Korean side dishes in Japan serves as yet more proof of the ways Korean culture has become widespread in that country. One of the most popular Korean dishes is bibimbap, or steamed rice with vegetables, meat, and spicy seasoning. The dish features a variety of flavors and is rich in nutrients because of its diverse ingredients. It offers high nutritious value but is low in calories because its main ingredients are vegetables. Each ingredient used in bibimbap has a different color. The traditional bibimbap features five colors, red, yellow, green, white and black. These five colors represent fire, earth, water, metal, and wood, the five elements of the universe. This literally universal dish is seasoned with the chili pepper paste gochujang and sesame oil. Regardless of what ingredients are used, bibimbap always tastes good. <laughs> 